In the heart of the American West, a remarkable chapter in Cheyenne history emerged with the Dog Soldiers, a fearless warrior society, defenders of their tribe's way of life. Yet, hidden behind their valor was a haunting secret known only to women. So, what was it? Let's find out the chilling truth about the Dog Soldiers. But first, we need to find out who the Cheyenne people are and what their history is. Chapter 1 Introduction to Cheyenne People and the Evolution of Dog Soldiers The Cheyenne People's history is a captivating saga of migration, adaptation, and the evolution of their society. Originally dwelling in the 16th century in what is now Minnesota, they referred to themselves as Tsist Sistas. However, their Sioux neighbors dubbed them the Cheyenne, a term that denoted foreign speakers, emphasizing their distinct identity among neighboring tribes. As the 19th century dawned, Cheyenne society underwent a comprehensive reorganization. It came together into a unified Cheyenne nation, and this transformation gave rise to the Haudenosaunee O, more commonly known as the Dog Men, Dog Warriors, or Dog Soldiers. A legendary warrior named Sweet Medicine played a pivotal role in this restructuring by delineating the separation between the Cheyenne's civil and military governance. Among military societies, the dog soldiers held a distinctive position. Their exact origins are cloaked in myth and legend, with one account suggesting that a determined yet initially scorned warrior, lacking medicine man status, sought to create his own military society. Through prayer and sacred songs, he defied societal norms, leading to a remarkable transformation where dogs metamorphosed into men, ultimately birthing the dog soldiers. These formidable warriors were renowned for their fearsome reputation marked by unique practices. Before embarking on a warpath, they adorned themselves and their horses with intricate paintings. Four chosen dog soldiers carried dog ropes or sashes, symbolizing their unwavering resolve to fight to the death. They further distinguished themselves by wearing upright feathered war bonnets, a symbol of their exceptional warrior status within Cheyenne society. But the dog soldiers weren't just about that. Chapter 2 the Dark Side of the Dog Soldiers The Dog Soldiers cast a dark and haunting shadow across the tumultuous landscape of the American West during a period marked by brutal conflicts and unforgiving violence. Their actions during this era were characterized by disturbing brutality, particularly when it came to captive women. The backdrop for their ruthless activities was the brutal civil war that engulfed the American West in 1864. It was a time of heightened tensions and the dog soldiers seized this turbulent opportunity to launch devastating raids on vulnerable settlements scattered across vast stretches of territory. Their most infamous incursion was the massacre along the Medicine Road, a meticulously orchestrated attack that left a trail of bloodshed and devastation along an overland trade route extending as far as Denver. These raids were marked by extreme brutality and the captive women unfortunate enough to fall into their hands endured unimaginable horrors. Rape and murder became tragically common, and scalping was wielded as a gruesome symbol of terror. This horrifying reality shattered the conventional perception of Cheyenne women's chastity, revealing a far more complex and unsettling truth. Chapter 3. The Story of Jane Bacon One particularly chilling incident unfolded on August 10, 1868, when over 180 Southern Cheyenne warriors, including members of the Dog Soldier Society, converged in Saline Valley, Kansas. Initially targeting their traditional enemy, the Pawnee tribe, a faction of warriors veered from the planned course and descended upon a homestead farm in Lincoln County. There, they subjected Jane Bacon, the farmer's wife, to a harrowing experience. The subsequent rampage extended across settlements along the Solomon River, resulting in the merciless slaughter of white settlers the abduction of children, and the continued sexual abuse of women. These gruesome raids etched a gruesome chapter into the conflict between settlers and Cheyennes in Kansas, spanning the years from 1867 to 1869. The region had already been inflamed by a series of events, including the Colorado Gold Rush, the horrific Sand Creek Massacre in 1854, and subsequent acts of revenge. The relentless brutality of the dog soldiers only fueled the already dire situation. But this next story is even worse. In yet another heart-wrenching incident in September 1874, 
a German family fell victim to the unrelenting cruelty of the dog soldiers. John German, his wife Lydia, and their children were subjected to ruthless killings and scalping, while their camp was looted and set ablaze. The Cheyennes took the four youngest German daughters captive, subjecting them to malnutrition, maltreatment, and unspeakable violence. These horrifying accounts lay bare the depths of brutality that captive women endured at the merciless hands of the dog soldiers, painting a grim and unsettling picture of the violence and suffering that marred this turbulent period in the American West. Beyond their brutal treatment of captives, the dog soldiers were infamous for their participation in gruesome rituals rooted in ancient traditions. These rituals often involved acts of mutilation and torture, further solidifying their reputation for savagery in a turbulent era marked by violence and strife. So do you think that there are still traditions like this happening in nooks and corners of the world? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.